So this is a multimeter. At first, it can seem a bit overwhelming if you haven't used it, but trust me, this is one of the most useful tools you will ever own. So let's take a minute, see how it works, and I can show you a couple ways to use it around the house. First, safety. Electricity can be a dangerous thing to work with, so you want to be extra careful whenever you're using a multimeter. Unplug any appliances you're testing, turn off circuits at the breaker, and always hold the multimeter by the insulated handles. Protective gloves, great idea anytime you are working with electricity. And if you're ever unsure or uncomfortable in any part of the process, just stop and call a professional. And take a look at the manual for your specific multimeter to make sure you're using it correctly. A multimeter has a lot of uses, but the main ones are testing voltage, continuity, and resistance in electrical currents and components. All right, so there are two types of electrical current, direct current or DC, which is signified by a V with a straight line, or alternating current or AC, which is signified by a V with a wavy line. You'll need to make sure your multimeter is set to the right type of current before testing. In general, your house power is AC and batteries are DC. So let's test a car battery to see if it's dead or still usable. Plug in your black and red cables to the multimeter. The black probe goes into the COM terminal and the red probe goes into the one marked with volts and ohms. That is the V and omega symbol here. Turn your meter to the DC position and if it has a voltage range option, choose 20. Make sure the car is off. Touch the black probe to the negative terminal of the battery. Touch the red probe to the positive terminal of the battery. Now you should see the voltage on the screen. The resting voltage of the car battery should be no lower than 12.6 volts. Next, have someone start the car while you keep the probes on the battery. The voltage will drop, but it should not go below 10 volts. If it goes below 10 volts when it cranks, you may need to replace the battery. Another use of the multimeter is testing continuity. That is seeing if electricity can easily pass through the circuit or if there is a problem. The symbol that looks like a sound wave is the continuity mode. Now we're going to test an extension cord and see if it's still good. Keep the leads plugged into the COM and volts ohms ports and turn the multimeter to the continuity setting. Insert the black probe into one of the holes on the end of the cord. Then touch the red probe to the matching prong on the other end of the cord. If the connection is good, your multimeter will beep, which means you know that the circuit is good. Do the same for all three sections of the cord, and if they all beep, then you can be sure the cord is working well. Another use of the multimeter is checking resistance. Resistance is measured in ohms, and it's a way of testing how restricted the flow of electricity is. We can use our resistance setting to check for a bad light switch. Keep the probes plugged into the COM and volts ohms ports and switch the meter to the resistance setting, which is the omega symbol. With the switch off, touch one probe to the switch's black terminal and the other to the adjacent brass terminal. What you should see is OL on the display, which means open loop. Now turn the switch on and do it again. This time you should get a resistance value, usually something close to zero. If it still reads OL after flipping the switch, you know that the switch is bad. This is just the beginning of what you can do with a multimeter. And once you get comfortable with the basics, you can really start to explore all the DIY projects that a multimeter will let you tackle. Leave a comment below on any other topics you'd like to hear about. Go on over to Lowe's.com to learn more and like and subscribe for more great DIY tips.